fish. I'm coming to each other. Good morning. This looks really pretty. Here's to another coffee morning vlog. Let's get it. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel if this is your first time. My name is Ellie Arquette. This is my second channel. I am a psychic medium, a spiritual life coach, and founder of Ellie Arquette Cosmetics. This channel is really dedicated to my makeup and skincare line, but I do get ready with me and look of the day and gossip and do morning vlogs. So if you guys like videos like that, I highly suggest to subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and give this video a like. And let's get into today's video. And I want to incorporate all of these colors in today's look. I don't know how I'm gonna do it. I don't know. We're gonna mix and match. This is my 2021 fall uh, collection. We have three gorgeous, highly pigmented colors. They're all waterproof, vegan, organic. All of my lipsticks and my lip glosses, everything is vegan and organic that means this is eye safe you can put it inside your eye you know your waterline your on your as use it as eyeliner eyeshadows cheeks everything this is gaia which is this gorgeous like kind of like a medium shade brown and then this is scarlet which is this gorgeous like wine cranberry christmasy red and this is amber and this is like the most gorgeous fucking orange ever i still haven't done my nails you guys literally look at this shit I want to talk about Ben Affleck and, and Jennifer Lopez in this video. I want to talk about this idea of like when you go back to your ex and like how kind of gross that is in a way. In a way it's kind of gross. Disclaimer, this video is just for entertainment purposes only. I'm just having fun, gossiping with you guys over coffee, morning vlog. I just feel like it's kind of gross. Like when you got married and had kids and you, and you chose Jennifer Garner and then like 20 years later, like you're back with Jennifer Lopez and then it just makes it makes me feel like what was your other relationships if you guys are so fucking massively in love with each other she went and got married and had kids he went and got married and had kids and then she went through more relationships and he was like banging babysitters and people and then now you guys are like so obsessed with each other I can't stand that because I think it's so tacky it makes like the rest of your relationships look like it was like not love. It was like not for love. I mean, at this point, I don't even know. I don't even think like, like, I don't even think like Ben Affleck like loved Jennifer Garner, which makes me really sad for her. I just, I feel so bad for her. She's so beautiful. She was so talented. Uh, she's such a cool person. I've, I know her. I've met her. I worked on her. I worked on some show with her. For me, I've never, ever, ever gotten together with somebody from my past. Like, I... Dude, once I decide I'm moving on, I am fucking done. Like, there's no fucking way I would get together with somebody 20 years later. Like, that's insane. So, I want to open the discussion to, is it possible that Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck are twin flames? Because maybe they got together, they went through the 20 twin flame separation of 20 years or whatever, and then now they're back together. You know what I mean? So, we can't really judge it. So, I'm going to start my skin, uh, my skincare system. If you guys are, if this is the first time you're watching me, I have my own uh, skin skincare line. I have 24 karat gold day and night serums, 100% collagen, repairs your skin. Your skin will look like this. Um, it minimizes pores, brightens your complexion, gets rid of age spots, acne scars. This is 24 karat gold collagen, face cream, super hydrating. Um, the most hydrating cream you will ever need in your entire life. There's avocado oil in it, vitamin E, hydrolonic acid, retinol. This is fucking insane. This is why I look like this. I have never ever been on camera with no makeup. Let me know your thoughts down below. I, is it possible that Jennifer Lopez and I'm doing my 24 karat gold day serum right now? That's what I'm doing. Is it possible that Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez are twin flames? Now I'm gonna do my face cream. It was meant for them to go through the separation. They each or were supposed, they had soul contracts. Like Jennifer Lopez has soul contracts with that, that that weird guy that she got married to was his name. 
Um, they had kids. I can't say Ben Affleck. Ben Affleck uh, went and got married to Jennifer Garner, and they had kids. And that soul contract, maybe there was a soul contract. I always do this after my my serums and my face cream. I go straight to SPF Neutrogena. This is a SPF 55 and then I do a 70 face shield. I always like, when I put just like a little bit of powder on my face, I always look so white. I look so crazy right now. I'm gonna do my eyebrows really quick. So anyways, I just wanted to talk about them really quick because the way they're, they're acting, like anytime they're in public, it's just so, it's just too much. It's just like way too much like PDA and they're both Leos. And I feel like Leos need to be end up together because like they require a lot of attention and admiration. And I feel like Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck like give that to each other. They they admire each other and they give each other a lot of like probably like SEX and attention and goo goo gaga eyes. Like I can't stand that. I think that's why I always end up with like like air signs like Aquarius or Gemini. That's what I've I've been in long term relationships always with like Gemini's or Aquarius's because I'm an Aries and if it's just like get the fuck out of my face like I can't. I, I can't, I'm, I don't like the lovey-dovey shit, like I just don't. Um, and I need to be like fucking left alone. Now, I like someone to be with me all the time, but I need my space. So it's like, you can be with me, you can hang out with me, you can be on the couch and I can be on the couch, but I wanna be on my phone like watching TikTok. I don't wanna like stare into your eyes. I don't know, are you guys, <laughs> do you guys relate to what I'm saying? I just can't stand that shit. If someone wants to like sit there, like there's no way I could date a Leo. Like my brother's a Leo, so like when he comes to visit and stuff, He's so fucking annoying and he needs so much attention and constantly wants to talk and constantly wants my attention. And like after like 15 minutes, I'm like ready to fucking bolt out of my parents' house. He's so, I just can't do it. I'm an Aries, you know? And it's so funny because my dad is an Aries and you know, my dad's the same way. Like if you're just getting a little whatever, like he like leaves, he like leaves the house and you don't even know, like he, he gets in the car and goes. So I'm gonna use my blush and highlighter and just contour my, my face just a little bit. This is uh, the darkest color I have. This is Twin Flame to contour my face just a little bit. So yeah, let me know your thoughts down below. Do you guys think that Ben Affleck and JLo are Twin Flames? And do you guys think that's a little it's a little too much at their age to be like acting like they're in, they're in high school and they're like going steady? It's like if you have Jennifer Lopez as your fucking fiance and you guys have, you, he had kids, what's his name, A-Rod? He had kids, she had kids, you guys had this like beautiful family, you're in love, he proposed and and then you cheat on her dude? Like it's Jennifer Lopez, are you fucking dumb? Blessed be this one to do my blush. This one. So, and the way I do is I just push my blush up. I push it up. So I wanna show you guys how soft my palette is like so my highlights and my my blushes are buildable. So like, you know, you can just put a little bit on or you can put a lot on because I like to always do the no makeup makeup look and I want to be able to build my makeup. I don't want to put it on and for it to be like really saturated. So from my fall collection, I'm going to take Gaia and I'm going to do my eyeshadows, okay? Yeah, I'm going to take Gaia and I'm going to put it all over uh, my upper lid. Okay, so we have Gaia. Now, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Gaia on this side. Again, my lipsticks and my lip glosses are all eye safe. They're vegan, organic, cruelty free, so and the cool thing about using my lipsticks for eyeshadows is that when it dries down, have any fallouts. So this is the first application of Gaia on my eyelids and it's super beautiful. And you know, I always tilt the side, I always tilt it like this to give like the, you know, the uh, the cat eye thing. I always do my makeup like that because that that's like my feature. You know, I have like the, the cat eye vibe i have almond shaped eyes but you have to you have to do what is flattering to your face you know what i mean what i want to do is i want to take a little bit of of scarlet and i want to put that i want to put scarlet like let's see how this is going to look you guys either it's just going to be a fail or it's going to look good now i'm going to put scarlet like 
as like eyeliner. So taking Scarlet. Taking Scarlet and putting it as like eyeliner. I'm using the same brush, which is like probably not good to do, but oh my God, it looks kind of cool. Gaia was the foundation and Scarlet is the eyeliner right now. Do you guys see? Can you guys tell? Look, bitch, I'm coming together. I want to take Amber and put it in the corners. And then Amber is in the corners, so this looks really cool. I really like it. Lipsticks, because I was like, my lipsticks, they're waterproof and vegan and organic. So like once you put it on and when it dries down, it's not going to come off. You're not going to get any... Uh, fallouts and it's not gonna look bad a hours and hours later this is gonna be like it's gonna look good so this looks fucking amazing now for the lips do I do the orange do I do Gaia or do I do Scarlet I feel like I need to do Scarlet for the for the lips that's what I'm gonna do Oh my God, this makeup looks fucking crazy cool right now. Look how gorgeous this is. So I use Gaia as base. I use Scarlet as eyeliner over it. I put some mascara and curled my eyelashes and then I use um, Amber in the corners and then I put Scarlet on my lips. So I used all three lipsticks from my 2021 fall lip collection to get this look with the blush and highlighter that I have. Everything is available on my website, lrkcosmetics.com. And my face cream and my sun and my and serums are fucking amazing. Brush set, also I may come out with eyeshadows because now that I'm learning how to do like eyeshadows, I kind of want to come out with eyeshadows. But for the time being, since I don't have an eye, I, I don't own eyeshadow palette, um, I use my lipsticks to kind of get this kind of, you know, do eye makeup. But this looks really beautiful. I really love it. It came out really nice. I was just kind of wondering if I could pull this off. But this looks really pretty. I really like it. Let me know your thoughts down below. Let me know if you guys like this look or not. And if you want to achieve this and you want um, to, to grab these colors that are available, you can buy one for 20 or three for 50. It's a bundle deal on my website, lerkcosmetics.com. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Let me know your thoughts down below. Would you ever get back together with your ex 20 years later? Uh, do you guys think that JLo is fronting? Like, is she fronting? Or is she really massively in love with Ben Affleck? So anyways, thank you for being here. Love you guys. Please make sure to subscribe. Give this video a like, and I'll see you guys in my next coffee morning vlog. Bye. Oh, <laughs>